Okay, so we're on day three. Um, day three, day four? Okay, we're on day four. And you will not believe the kind of shit that we're finding. And we have the email and the name of the people that she's working with. The name on file is likely her boyfriend. The name under the email is actually, I believe, his father. They have the exact same last name, either uncle or dad. And they live in Valley View. That is like far north next to Edmonton, to the west of Edmonton. Now, we tracked them down and we found their faces, where they live, their full names, their banking information, as far as like the email that they've been using because she sends the money to that email. She's been working with these guys for quite some time, I imagine, and she trusts them enough to send them the money, so she's likely working for the father. Right now we're working on getting a full address and I think, I don't know, but I think we're gonna go there tonight. It's gotta be there. Okay, so you can see right there, this is Valley View here, and it is a very, very small town. And so my thought is that if she trusts him enough to send the money to him, to have his name under the bank account, and so on and so forth, they're either going to be in Valley View or in Rocky. My buddy right now is saying that he's finding a lot of uh, interaction with people from Rocky online with him. So it's got to be one of the two. But it's a very small town. And so if they're not in Rocky hiding in a garage somewhere, it makes total sense that she would run away there because it would be a perfect hiding spot. It gives them just enough breathing room that we're, they're not worried about us coming to find them. At the same time, there's no one in town to actually look out for the car. So I'm gonna spend some more time looking into this, but we're getting somewhere. Catch you in a minute. I think I just found an address. Uh, so you think the car is in that parking lot? I think it's either in that parking lot or wherever this address takes you. I'm gonna try typing it in. I think the photo might be wrong. I'll send you a screenshot of the zoom out. Okay, so this address that we have is way off. Like it's just, it's not correlated properly. So it's not actually pinning us on a map. So I'm taking the address and I'm kinda, so I worked as like a delivery guy for like a furniture company and we would have to deliver out in the country all the time. So what I'm doing is I'm using that knowledge actually, which is surprising because I never thought I would. And I'm looking at the range roads and such and I'm actually tracking down where exactly this thing is. Hello? Guess what? What? I have an address. You have an address? What? <laughs> I'm taking a nap and this mother f <laughs> James Bond, what the f yeah, I don't rest. Oh shit, okay, well, uh, okay, so, so what, what, where, where is this address, like, <laughs> whose address is it? Hold on, I'm just waking up from a nap, I'm really disoriented. <laughs> so I'm still trying to find it on the map, but it's hidden on the west side of Rocky somewhere. Oh my god, very nice, very, very, very nice. So now I'm trying to figure out where exactly this road is in the middle of nowhere, but, because if you search it, it actually takes you to nowhere. Literally. Oh shit. Like I wonder if they actually bought it knowing that. Probably. This is probably, yo, this is probably like a big drug bust then, yo. Probably. Well, uh, definitely prostitution at least. Well, if, if, yeah, if this dude's got enough money to be going out there into the woods, there's a whole lot more than prostitution going on, man. There's a whole lot more. Yeah, police need to be involved with that shit. Man, I feel like I feel like I'm in like a Batman. In like a Batman movie or something, you know. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> if we catch this guy, I just wanna say this is gonna be the best story of either of our lives. This is gonna be the best uh quarantine of anyone's life. Hey, you're not wrong. You're not we win quarantine in that way. <laughs> 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 what did you do over quarantine? I oh, I made the biggest uh, drug bust in all of Alberta. Yeah, oh yeah. History. <laughs> yeah, we, we just took down He's the like, biggest. Oh kit shit! It's just like fucking pounds, kilos, sea cans of cocaine out there, and we're just like, yeah, we're just here for the car. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Legit. Literally picked the wrong people to fuck with. Yeah, no joke, eh? Like, Most why? Give it up. You know what? You could have just not taken our car and you wouldn't have this issue. But now yeah, you're going to jail. <laughs> oh my god, it's way the f out here? Whoa, yeah, what? I know. <laughs> this dude, man, okay? 
You sound like the uh, Coach Steve. Coach Steve. <laughs> 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 I don't got no friends, but... <laughs> <laughs> I actually might have it. With that? The place. I think I'm looking at it. Looking at it? Oh, there's actually a photo? Uh, not on the street view, but there's a... Uh, oh, satellite. Satellite. You can't hide from me, mother... No, <laughs> oh, and you take my Civic. Yeah, you take exactly. your farm. <laughs> <laughs> like John Wick, except instead of the dog, you, you lost the Civic. Exactly. Alright, well, I'll catch you in a little bit, bro. Alright, see it. <laughs> but I actually found the farmland that they would be on if that's their real address right now. Um, but it is slightly to the north and west of Edmonton. So, hmm. it'd make... Well, we got tomorrow and Monday off. Let's go for a drive. Well, if we're going to go out there, we're going to get police with us. Because these are like farmlands now where we're going to have like no one around and police are going to take hours to show up. I don't well, know if that's... I can't just say like, if that's, I have a feeling the car is here. They're not going to come on that. Well, that's, that's another reason why I want to hear from someone that can actually view their files, whether they are in Rocky area or if they are not, or if they have an address, because then we can actually just send them there and be like, these people are directly affiliated with the girl that came and took my car. It's gotta be at their house and they'll go and look. They'll get a warrant, they'll go and look. Cause like realistically, like we, they should be doing this, but we are like, if we give them the address and they say, no, we're not going to check it out, then we'll be like, okay, we're going to do it, I guess. But if we get shot, it's on you guys. My mom said you should become a private investigator. Probably. So it's been a few hours now. Can't really figure anything else out. Not until we figure out exactly where they are. So we're going to talk to the RCMP, see if we can figure that out. But either way, I will pick you guys back up probably tomorrow and hopefully we have some results.